this video we will focus on the order pad widget, which displays the status of current and historical orders. You can use the order pad to monitor, create and manage your orders. Let's start off by navigating to the top left hand corner to the account picker. If you have access to multiple accounts, you have the ability to select all or just concentrate on a certain account that you wish to review. In this account, we'll look at the equity account only. In this drop down, you have the ability to view the orders in the order pad based on the relevant filters. So for example, all current orders displays all active orders, as well as inactive orders that have had some activity, for example, inactive orders that were modified, cancelled, traded or even purged today. You can select from just the active orders, the ones that have been traded today, etc. In this case, we'll just stick to all current orders. In navigating to the right hand side, you have the ability to select your grouping from the drop down. You can decide on how you want to group your orders by selecting one of the following. So no grouping, group by account or status. So for example, we can select by status because we're currently against the demo equity account. And as you can see, it filters by grouping created versus completed. The order pad widget is comprised of two tabs. We have the order tab and the contingency tab. The order tab displays all orders, including contingent orders. Orders that are part of a contingent order are denoted with a relevant icon. Hovering over this will reveal a tooltip. To actually see the contingent order, you can click on this icon, which will then jump to the relevant contingency tab that provides more details of the underlying legs. In order to actually modify an order, we have the relevant inline action menu that is made available against each row. For a current open order, you have the ability to select this and you have the relevant drop down of buy, sell, amend or cancel. Once an order has been created, you may want to cancel or modify this at any time. You can do this via the inline action menu against the order in the row. By selecting this icon, you can select amend and the current order entry experience will appear. Change any order attributes that you wish to modify, review the summary and press amend by order. A confirmation will appear for your eye to scan over and validate. Once it's all good to go, press OK. As you can see, the relevant status in the order pad has been updated with the order volume that I changed earlier. Once you have placed multiple orders in the market, you have the ability to cancel them in bulk. Navigate to the top right hand corner to edit orders. By clicking on this button, it will change the order pad into edit mode. Checkboxes will then appear for the orders that can physically be cancelled, whether they be open orders or ones you've previously amended. Once you're happy to cancel these orders, navigate to the bottom right hand corner and cancel all selected. Should you change your mind, you can always cancel edit here and here and it will remove you from edit mode. However, let's proceed and cancel these three orders. A confirmation will appear detailing the value of orders that you will cancel simultaneously. Please note the limit is 10 orders. Press yes to continue, a notification will appear and effectively this will be reflected within the status of cancelled on the order pad.